why do you preach from the King James? Uh, that's a that's a good question, and there are th I, I don't have time to get into all the issues now, but there are three basic reasons. Maybe we can follow it up later. The three basic reasons are, uh, number one, I believe that the manuscript family, the manuscript tradition that the King James is translated from, represents uh, a better manuscript tradition than the more contemporary translation. So one is a manuscript tradition issue. The second is translation philosophy. Um, the King James uh, follows a formal equivalence translation yeah. philosophy, which I prefer. Uh, there are modern translations that have the same translation philosophy, but they're from uh, a less reliable set of manuscripts, in my opinion. So um, ESV and, and uh, 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 NASB are, are formal equivalent translations also, uh, the, as is the King James, but they're based on different manuscript families. So first is manuscript family, second is translation philosophy. Then the, uh, then the big thing for me is that I believe that the Bible is the, the uh, legacy of the church. The church should own it, promulgate it, translate it, work with it. Uh, the Bible says that the Jews, uh, to, to the Jews were entrusted the oracles of God. Yeah. I think the church has, the, ha, for much of its history, the church um, oversaw maintenance of the oracles of God. But in the modern world, tra Bible translations are controlled by the uh, 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 connection between the academy and big business, corporations. So if a new translation is going to come out, it's going to come out because of scholars in the academy and because of uh, a corporation, oftentimes a corporation owned by um, non-Christians. Yeah. And, and I look at that and say, where, where's the church in this? Where, why isn't the church involved in the ga this game at all? Why is the church just seen as a pool of potential consumers? So uh, the King James is the last translation of the Bible that is arguably in the public domain under the authority of the church and not copyrighted by a, a yeah, copyright. a, not copyrighted by a corporation and academic uh, scholars. Now that all said, I, I wish that I had access to a translation of the Bible in contemporary English that I could preach from. I would rather do that than what I'm currently preaching from. I would rather have a contemporary um, like an update or a revision of the KJV uh, that didn't have the uh, didn't have the well the archaic stuff is sometimes fun you know and when people object to the King James I can say well what goeth on he wots not you know? <laughs> <laughs> how can but, you argue with that? <laughs> how can you argue with it? <laughs> but so I, I would prefer a contemporary translation but in my mind it would it'd need to be a contemporary translation from the the best manuscripts with a formal equivalence translation and that that was in the stream of English translations. It would be dependent on uh, what has gone before. And I would like uh, the copyright to be held by the church ch or a consortium ch of churches with the profits from the sale of the Bibles going into a deacon's fund uh, for ministry to the poor and not uh, not the big not business. Not a for-profit enterprise. Not, yeah, not a big business sort of thing. A little gold polish on the edge of the pages. <laughs> yes. Well, that all makes sense perfectly. I don't know how anybody can. I don't. I, I, <laughs> it baffles me that people argue with it. 